Hey everyone, it's Boogeyman Ben. Hope everyone's doing well and everyone had a nice day. I uh, wanted to do a quick little video on some new collectibles uh, that I got today. It's been kind of an insane day. I've gotten quite a bit today. Um, first thing I want to talk about is a special thank you to a good buddy of mine at work. His name is Mikey. Um, and he used to collect a lot of toys and a lot of figures. And over the years, I guess he's been start starting to, he just doesn't have the space for all of them, so he's been selling them, and he sold me some great figures today, um, some things that I've been wanting for years, and just haven't had the uh, time to, I just haven't had the money to get them, or just, you know, I've been outbid so many times on eBay, I kind of gave up looking for them. Um, the first thing I wanted to show off, and these are from the Movie Maniacs line, he has the Norris creature with Spider um, still in the packaging. So as you can see, it's right there, and I'm going to leave this in the packaging. I've tried to bid on this I don't know how many times on eBay, and I've always gotten outbid, and it was great, and he gave me a really good deal on it. So this is an awesome piece. Um, the other item he gave me is also from the thing, and this one's open, um, but this is the uh, Blair Monster from the end of the movie. I see it right there his face right there is a little dark but just excellent excellent it's got the of course it's got the little poster thing here so this is just a great piece and he gave me a really good deal on this one too just amazing I love this and the other thing he gave me is something I could not turn down it is the Jaws with the boat. He's got the guy in his mouth. Look at that. It's just amazing. So you can see there's something there. That's just fucking sweet. And this thing is so expensive on eBay. I'm so happy to have this. And he gave me an excellent, excellent deal on this. So, Mikey, thank you very much. And I will be hitting you up again. Um, when I have some more money, but uh, yeah, those are some great new pieces I got for the room here. I already got a spot for the Jaws, so um, I'll show that off in a future video. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is a new DVD that I got today, um, Rob Zombie's The Lords of Salem. Um, I didn't get to see this in the movie theater, but uh, there's a guy named Jason who's on Beyond the Realms, and uh, I watched his channel, and he did a review of this film, and he gave it a, a great review. And I've been waiting for this movie to come out. And my wife and I actually watched it tonight, and it was fucking terrific. Um, it's very different, but I've always been a fan of Rob Zombie. Not right away, but slowly I got to be a big fan of his movies. But I have all his movies, House of a Thousand, Devil's Rejects, both Halloween films, and this. And I can honestly say this is my favorite movie he's done. It's very weird and twisted and dark, but it's very moody, and there's great tension and atmosphere. And... But it's very kind of Rosemary's Baby-ish and um, very disturbing images. And it's very slow-paced. I think a lot of people were looking for a very fast-paced film, but it's not. It's very slow-moving. But if you like those kind of films, I definitely recommend picking this one up. I mean, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I loved it. I had a great time with this film. I uh, can't wait to watch it again. I can't get the music and some of the imagery out of my head because we just watched it about... 20 minutes ago we finished watching it so we both loved it and I think fans of Rob Zombie will love it if you're not a fan of Rob Zombie I can't recommend it because if you don't like his other films you definitely won't like this film but uh, take give it a chance check it out I loved it I'm glad I got it today so excellent film and finally and this came early because I thought I ordered it but it wasn't supposed to come out till a week from this Friday and that is on location in Blairstown the Making of Friday the 13th by David Grove, and it's got a forward by Tom Savini. This came in the mail today. It's not supposed to come out till the 13th, which is a week from this Friday, but uh, I was very happy to get this. It's all black and white, but it's all about the making of the first Friday the 13th film. And it's a soft cover book. It's about 214 pages. Um, let's show off some of the images in it. Um, but the I'm just going to show pictures of the town. It's probably going to be hard to make out. Get some images of the town there. Show some other stuff in here. A couple other own locations. Picture of Crazy Ralph. And Enos the truck driver. And 
and let's see if we can find some better images. Now here's some of Tom Savini's makeup. <sighs> Poor Ned. Some good pictures in here. But yeah, I'm really happy I got this book and uh, I will be reading it. It's kind of a nice setup for the uh, next week when the 12, uh, well, 12 movie set of the Friday the 13th films will be released as well as the uh, Crystal Lake Memories documentary so I'm looking forward to both of those and uh, like I said just wanted to share some of the stuff that I got today and hope everyone's having a good day and hope you all have a nice evening and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.